Okay, today let's talk about space. But not outer space, we're going to talk about the space left on your hard drive. Now when you go to open my computer, you can look at your drives and you can see how much free space is actually left. Uh, let's look at the C drive. That's about halfway used up or we have uh, about half of it that's free. So the first thing we need to do is find out what's using all that space. Now a handy tool we can use to do that is called Spacemonger and it's free. It's a free download. You can find it just Google Spacemonger and you'll find it out there on the internet. Download it and you'll get a single exe file that looks like this right here. Go ahead and run that. Open the drive you want to inspect. In my case it's going to be the C drive. Space Monger will index all the files and then it comes up with a graphical view of your drive that looks pretty much like this. Now you'll see down here that it tells you how much free space you got and it's represented by this this gray area here. And over here we have a bunch of colored boxes and they represent the used files or used sections on your hard drive. And you can see that we have about half of it used up. Now, what you can do to make it a little more readable is to turn off the free space by just clicking this button. And now the whole thing is just use space, represents use space. Now we can kind of look it over and, and see what's being used. The first thing I can see is this section in here is the program file, so we probably want to keep them. And this section is common files, and that's part of the program files too, but we want to keep that. So there's probably nothing in this area. It's all program files in this whole block, so we're going to leave that alone. The next section I'm looking at is this one, and that's all Windows files, so we're probably going to leave that alone. Uh, we also have documents and settings and we're probably going to leave that alone. Uh, then we have a, a hibernation file and we can't get rid of that because we're using hibernation. We also have a page file which is the virtual memory for the computer and we can't get rid of that. So those items we're going to have to keep. What we can move is we have a bunch of videos here and there they seem to be taking up a lot of room. We got one here on mandolin lessons and I got a couple videos I made during the church service and actually there's three of them during the church service and here's another one. So I think we can move those out to an external drive. So now that we know what we want to move and, and where it is, we can use Windows Explorer to go ahead and move it. So I'm going to bring up Windows Explorer here. Now we're going to be taking those files we just looked at and move them from the C drive to my external drive. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn on Folders View. I'm going to go up here and click Folders. OK, and then I'll click C. Now here's all the stuff that I was thinking about moving. And one, the first one was the videos, and they're in here. So I'm just going to right click, drag down here to my external drive called M, and let go of the button and say Move. Now that'll take a little bit to do. Alright, we'll just put that up here. It's doing its thing. 
Now, the next thing that we saw over here was we've got one that's under the user test. We want to move that one. So that would be, as far as uh, Windows XP goes, it's under Documents and Settings. And it should be here. Oh, I don't see it. Well, I think that is actually down here under Users, because I once was using uh, Windows 7, and it made a folder called Users that wasn't under Documents and Settings, and it's right here, and it's called Test was the user, and there's Desktop, and there's the folder that I want to move. So, let's see. I think I'll go ahead and just drag that over to right click drag to the external drive and let go of the button move okay now I got a second one that's being moved so I got two up here that are that are busy moving okay now when we get done moving all those we can go ahead and hit reload on Spacemonger and see what happened as far as did it free up space. We'll find that out in a minute. Okay, one of them just got done copying. Okay, the second one is getting ready to finish up. There we go, here's the countdown. It's done. Okay, now that we've finished copying the files, we can go and hit the reload button. Well, let's turn on the free space first. Okay, you can see that we still got half of it used up by all these files over here. Okay, so now let's hit the reload and see what happens. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll squish this down a little bit so it'll fit in the window. There. Now you can get a better picture of what's going on. All right, I'm going to hit the reload button. It's reloading. It's going to take a few seconds for the reload to take place. Now look, we got all this extra space now. So Spacemonger is a big help in deciphering what files are taking up all of your hard drive space? Happy computing!